All right, y'all, look, uh, we back with another interview right here, man. You know, it's Montez Wheeler Universal TV. Y'all know the views gonna go up. It's my boy right here, you know what I'm saying, my homie. <laughs> yeah, man, uh, today, man, uh, all right, man, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, okay. what you on today, man? Yeah, man, you know, I'm downtown like I usually be, you know what I'm saying? Downtown, beautiful, yeah, Columbus, Ohio, y'all yeah. should come and visit. But it can get dangerous if you don't know what the fuck you doing. Right, right, he right. It he definitely right. Dangerous. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a city of opportunity. You see all these jobs and stuff, you know, they can get Look at that, y'all. Yep, he right. Look, they're going to Huntington Bank. And they're going to third, fifth, third break. You can even go there and work. Look, there's even the bar shetty right there. Yeah, we back at it. <clears throat> yeah, we back at it. But, uh, yeah, man, look, uh, you know, um, like I was telling him, you know, I do interviews. I'm going to just start doing my new little thing, you know. But uh, this is my boy. You know, we linked up a few times. But I want to ask you, man, uh, do you got any stories where, like, life and death situations? Like, oh, my God. I mean, I just remember so how. This is a bunch of hell to you. Like, right. What do I know about? Like, like, basically, like, what's some stories where, like, maybe, like, someone maybe, like, try to, like, kill you like a try oh. to or like try to follow you or something oh, like that some God. crazy stuff like oh yeah one time you know what i'm saying me and my nigga we went out west and shit because i had the pride you know what I'm saying? i had the issue with, with uh, a certain individual you know what i mean right so you know what I'm saying? we go out west one day you know what i'm saying and while we chilling and stuff we look up i see a motherfucker with a whole army fatigue suit with this everything just looking at me with a big uh ak-47 damn you know but he's so still like this. I'm like, in my mind, at first I had to focus in, because you got to focus in down here, because they blend in. To the atmosphere, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you got, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's a leaf, they piss up on them, look like a leaf, you, you don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I looked up. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker, I, I seen it. I right. I was a motherfucking tree. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker looking dead at me to, to, to knock me down. Could have knocked me down 20 minutes ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? Damn. So then what happened? Like, like what what did y'all do? Like, what did you do when the guy was standing there with the gun? Well, as soon as I see it, I peep it out, and I'm always staring at it. I probably very away from it, but I'm always staring at it because it can knock the head off. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, so, for sure. Uh, first thing in my mind is it's time to go. <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Once I see some stuff like that, whoever I'm with, it's like, nah, they're taking too long to me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Because it's a motherfucker here that got some shit that could knock limbs up off of you. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. And, uh, so uh, I'm rushing, we rush, we end up banging out. Man. Right. It's been a lot of situations with me, man. Yeah, like, has it been some situations where, like, um, well, like, what's like a, like, like some stories where, like, some stuff happened with like, oh, man. well maybe like some scary stuff like this, maybe this, like this some... the worst one right here though. Oh right? yeah yeah, give, give me give me the give me the ones that's just, just you good. I'm in this program and she got to be eighteen and up. To yeah, that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Eighteen and up, right, 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 right. They, they had me show my ID, I show my ID, show my social security, so everybody yeah. else to show their ID, social security. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So one day, bro, listen, this the worst. This this one that had me the worst because everybody downtown is looking at me like I'm some kind of fucking child molester at the desk, you know? Oh, for real? This is story. Oh, okay, so all right. Fucker. I mean, now remember, you gotta be 18 or you can't not be in there. Yeah. So I mean, this motherfucker, I meet this girl and shit, you know what I'm saying? She was from overseas. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she come over here. When I met her, she was going with an older dude. Yeah. I mean, they, they smoking ice. I told you I used to get that ice every once in a while. Yeah. But they smoking ice, blowing back weed, you know what I'm saying? Drinking, you know, type of shit that I do. You know yeah. What I mean? Yeah. At that time. Right. We chilling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, she ended up liking me and she ended up kicking and shit. All right, right, all right. find out, like, after a while, she ended up going to the shelter called Van Buren. Oh, Van Buren Shelter. Yeah, yeah I heard yeah, about that. Van Buren. Don't you got to be an 18 adult to be up in there? Yep. You know what I'm saying? You got to show your ID and everything. Yep. She, or if you're not, you got to be with a parent. Yeah, you got to be with a parent. Right, so uh, she's in there. And right. Next thing you know, next thing you know, I end up one day looking for her. You know, we we had sex quite a few times. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. right. Before, they told me she moved. So I'm like, damn. Just a word. She told me she was 25 and a couple, and a couple other a couple of other uh, employees that work in there told me she was 25. So I really think that they looked at her ID then. Right, I mean? right, right, yep. She moved out of town, bro. And they say, you know, I get a story back talking about this right here. The fans are looking for me because she, the girl was 14, she had my baby and she died and the baby died. 
You know what I'm saying, though? Oh, man. But, but, but then at the same time, I'm looking like this. How can that story be true when she went to Van Buren and she was in this program? Yeah, so, so that means she had to be 18 to get in. She had to be. You know what I'm saying? And if she what? And I need, I need, I need some money because it's fucking me up a little bit. Yeah. I, know I ain't no child molester. You know, right. Know yeah. Saying? Exactly. Yeah. And it's like this is like that's not my fault. If she was 14, she told me she was 25, and y'all told me that right. she was she was 25. That's your fault. You yeah. Know what I mean, because she's yeah. up under y'all facility. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So long story short, that shit been going back, but then it switched back. She was 25. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I ain't seen no pictures. I ain't seen no. Nothing. If the baby would have died, and it was, and it was, uh, if the baby would have died, and she would have died, and the feds looking for me, I'm downtown every motherfucking, almost every day. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like, yeah. They would have came and seen something to me. So basically, y'all just making it, this up. Y'all making this up to make it seem like that. You yeah. Know what I mean. So how did everything end? Well, like how did that end? Like what happened with that? Well, how that end? Cause you know I said I was homeless, right? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I end up. Dipping away from my brother going to the airport. Right. I stayed at the airport for a couple of days. Right. Thinking I like, I leave, come back to the airport. And so you know the airport, the airport people uh, get the word from these people and now they see the word around oh he's a tub little tub tub say I'm a tub now. You know yeah. But what kind of evidence have you showed me? I, I showed you I give you two evidence that she was in an adult facility, the Pier Center and Van Buren. And you can't be under 18 being in Van Buren unless it's a shelter, unless you with your parents. Right. Yeah, dang, man, that's crazy, man. So you know what I'm saying? That was one, that was like the worst situation because right. the whole, when the word got the whole downtown looking at it this way, but they're not looking at it this, the way that I'm looking at it. And two facilities that you have to be 18 and over. Right. Think about it. Yeah. So basically, man, um, do you uh, like um, you mind telling them, you know, that you're homeless or not? Oh yeah, I'm. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So basically, like, all right, yeah, yeah, especially you know. Being out here homeless. Okay, homeless. yeah. So, so basically, tell them how long you've been uh out here, man. Like you've been, been homeless. Out, bro. I've been out here homeless now. I got out. I mean, about a good almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. Okay. And how, like, like if you can give any advice to anybody out there, like, uh, if you don't mind, like, you, you mind telling your age or not? Or? I'm 43. I'll be 44 this, this uh, I'll be 44 in 24 more days, October 25th. Okay, so do you mind telling the viewers or anyone watching these type of videos, if anyone, you know, likes these videos, like, like what could you give them some advice, like, about being homeless, like, and what to do to prevent being homeless? Listen, man, if you're homeless, man, just get your ID, social security card, get your job. Right now, if you is homeless, you ain't saying no very good. Check yourself in the shelter. If you don't like shelters, find you a spot out here that you know they let you let homeless sleep at. Sleep out there with them, but keep going to work. Get your money, stack your money. You ain't got to pay no rent since you're out here. Go to these free places, eat this free food while you stack your bread all the way till you can get up out of them. Right, right. And, 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 and for anybody out there that is homeless, like this, feeling like, you know, this like uh you know like they're embarrassed or whatever. What can you say about that before Never we close be up? Never embarrassed for being homeless. You know why I say that because wow. just because you homeless, like well, if, if certain people's eyes, I don't mean you homeless in the south. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You know where you want to be. You keep going what you want to be. If you a clean dude, you try to keep stay clean. You never you never switch up. You right. Exactly. Yeah. No, just look at it like this. You're still living. You just ain't living in the house right now. Yeah. For real. <laughs> you know yeah. You're for sure. Living in the house right now. Yeah. And always stay aware of everything. Make sure you stay out the way. Not getting no bullshit. One thing about coming up, it'd be hard to come up even if you're trying to get a job if you got steady bullshit. You know, yeah. Coming your way. For sure. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, man. Well, yeah, hey, man. You think you can shout out Montez Wheeler Universal real quick? Yeah, shout out to Montez Wheeler Universal. Yeah, man. Take the Linda at the bus, baby. Yeah, man. Hey, seven million views and growing, man. We back at it. Yeah, see y'all next time.